type of movement, you are not only exercising, you are actually lifting weight. When you use free weights in machines, the weight resistance is obvious. And of course, when you do free movements, your body creates a resistance. But what about a method that not only uses no weight, but uses no movement? I'm talking about isometric, the same type of silent action that bodybuilders use when posing. For isometric pet contractions, sit cross-legged on a mat on the gym floor. Reach across your body and place your hand against the inside of your knee, your right arm held straight throughout the movement. I like to monitor the contraction in my right pectoral muscle by placing the fingertips of my left hand against the muscle group. Using my knee as an immovable object, I strongly contract my right pec muscle for about four to six seconds, relaxing for a moment and repeating the contraction eight to ten times. Upper arm self-resistant contraction is done with your right palm facing upward and your right arm relatively straight. Place your left hand palm down on your right wrist. Push down with your left hand to provide resistance against your right wrist as you slowly bend your arm completely. Concentrate your mental energy on your right biceps as it slowly contracts into resistance for 8 to 10 repetitions. For waist oblique contractions, place your feet together and stand erect. Place your hands behind your neck or your head. To get the correct contraction in this movement, you must do four things simultaneously. One, bend your right leg a few degrees and go up on your toes of your right foot. Two, consciously contract the muscles on the right side of your waist. Three, pull downward on your right arm and elbow with the muscles at the sides of your waist. And four, forcefully blow out all of your air. When you do these four things at once, you will experience a very intense contraction in your oblique and intercostal muscles. Hold this contraction for four to six seconds, relax for a moment, and repeat the contraction eight to ten times. Be sure to do an equal number of contractions for the other side of your torso. Actually, anytime you tighten up your body, you're doing some sort of contraction. And if you're not in the gym or deliberately exercising, then chances are it's probably an isometric contraction. Go ahead and be creative with your isometrics. You'll probably develop a really good mind-to-body relationship. And if you're not careful, you just may get a great workout when you least expect it. I'm Rachel McClish. See you next week.